St. Mary's Hospital now has a new tool to help parents whose babies die soon after birth, and it lets families spend a few more moments together. Chloe Morrissey was at the hospital today meeting with a couple who donated this tool after facing a loss of their own. Well, I'm sure he's smiling down at us right now. It's been 48 years since Jennifer and Jim McKelvey lost their firstborn son, Patrick Shannon, who died instantly after birth. Their one wish, to spend time with him in those last moments. I just wish we would have seen our Patrick. I, I would have given anything. Just to touch him. Just to touch him, his flesh. At the time, that wasn't possible. It's the most horrible thing anybody can ever go through, I, I believe. This feeling is what inspired Jim and Jennifer to donate a cuddle cot to St. Mary's Hospital. Cuddle cots allow parents and their newborn who has passed away to spend as much time together as they'd like. Jennifer says it helps her to know that she is helping somebody else. St. Mary's Hospital NICU nurse Brandi Hosley leads the perinatal bereavement team and says they are extremely lucky to have this donation because the extra time given to parents to hold their baby is crucial in processing grief. Making those memories are really important with having that limited time. And for Jim and Jennifer, their memory of Patrick will never be forgotten. What would you want to say to him in this moment? I want to tell him that I love him. That I have loved him. From the moment I knew I was pregnant, I loved him. And I'll love him till the day I die. Jim and Jennifer say they're honored to receive the call for when the cuddle cot will be used for the first time, knowing they could give more families more time and closure. In Madison, Chloe Morrissey, 27 News.